Hi guys, it's Ivana Manley from Manly Labs and today we're going to show you how to bias your Manly tube amplifier. Today we're using a Manly Stingray in my office. Alright, this is a really easy procedure and anybody can do it and you want to do it mm, as often as you'd probably check the air pressure in your car tires or something like that. Um, we're going to use a little multimeter that we ship with every tube amp here. You can use the cheapest multimeter possible because we're just taking a DC voltage reading and it's under two volts that we're going to read so you can't get hurt or anything. It's so easy this. Alright, we're going to set the meter for DC voltage. We're going to use the 2000 millivolt scale. That's a two volt scale if you have, you know, a, a meter that's not auto ranging such as this. Alright, the black lead we're plugging into the ground of the meter and the probe end we're going to put in the tip jack that says tip jack for measuring ground on the amplifier. Um, on older Manly amplifiers, maybe we didn't give you a handy ground jack, so you're going to use the negative binding post to obtain a ground. So you'll stick the probe in the binding post along with your speaker leads uh, to get your ground, uh, ground point there, okay? Then the red lead, we're going to put on um, the DC voltage jack on the meter, not the amperage jack, okay? Very important. And we're going to put the probe end into the first tip jack here to measure the first tube. Now here, um, we've got a measurement of 246 millivolts. And that's just about exactly where we want to be on this amplifier. How do we know that? Because on this amp, it tells us right on the chassis here, it says 250 millivolts. So there we go. So this one, I'm going to consider it set. We don't have to bother it. Let's go to number two. Uh, this is first tube, there's a second tube. The second tube, we are measuring 367 millivolts. That's a little high, but not, not a lot. I mean, don't get afraid. Don't get scared. Let's go into the second trim pot here. This little tr blue trim pot down in this hole here, and it's labeled number two because we're measuring number two tube. And I've stuck my uh, little screwdriver into the into the trim pot. I've got it engaged. I'm ready to turn very slowly. Uh, we're going to turn this down. 300, 280, yep, 236. Let's get back up. There we go. 249. That's perfect. We're trying to get 250. And uh, why that's really close, I'll tell you the math behind it. What we're measuring when we're measuring the bias here is we're measuring a voltage over a resistor. So using Ohm's law, 250 millivolts divided by the 10 ohm cathode resistor, that's going to give us 25 milliamps. And that's what we're doing when we're setting the bias. We're setting each tube to draw 25 milliamps of current, okay? That's how it works. Right. So we would go through every tube. There's eight output tubes. We do this set, we do this eight times, and then we go back and do it again because they kind of pull a little current from the bias supply and they all interact a little bit and once we've done them twice we're good you can crank up your tunes again and enjoy your music and have a nice day